Hey, hey, welcome back to Fallout 76. This is Mental Fox. Thanks for joining me again. We're outside of uh, Atlas Observatory, which is now Fort Atlas as part of this uh, new quest that we're doing. Part of an addition to Fallout 76. Gosh, way back in 2020, I think, is when this was added. The quest is called Forging Trust. I entered Fort Atlas to find Knight Shin and Paladin Romani engaged in an argument before the paladin shut him down and left, locking the security door behind her. Despite his bad mood, I'll have to speak with him if I want to meet with other leaders of the Brotherhood. We saw this uh, quick discussion between Nightshin and Paladin Romani at the end of the last episode, and we saw it inside the building over there. And one thing I forgot about this game is that when you exit it, it just puts you outside closest to, or close to the last, uh like location on the map that you visited and for us it's Fort Brotherhood Atlas here so build us a better tomorrow. let's go in here and speak to Knight Shin and uh, see what we can learn about the Brotherhood do I want to join the Brotherhood? I don't know man you know kind of like things the way they are but we'll see we'll see how this goes maybe there will be a good reason this is um, just an initiative no meat approved oh. A perfectly preserved pie with every dinner declined. And this ration request doesn't even have a name on it. Oh, Do not attempt to access the secure parts of this facility, civilian. We are watching you. Oh, I'm watching you. If you're here with a request for the Brotherhood, get in line. I don't have time for you right now. Really? We could say Russell Dorsey sent me to talk to you. We could say we haven't been introduced. We could just get right to it and say, were you fighting with another officer? Or we could say, I'm actually an issue myself, you know, uh, sir. Um, we haven't been introduced. Knight Daniel Shin, Brotherhood of Steel, First Expeditionary Force. We've got important work to do here, so get to the point. Well, I mean, were you fighting with that other officer? That was a Brotherhood matter, civilian, and none of your concern. You're trying my patience, so get on with it. Fine. Russell Dorsey sent me to talk to you. Did he? Initia Dorsey is supposed to be manning his post at the entrance, not acting as my secretary. Hmm. Sorry, Russell. Didn't mean to get you in trouble. <laughs> we could say, you seem pretty tightly wound. Do you ever unclench? We could say, are you recruiting new initiates? We could say, what would it mean to join the Brotherhood? We could ask, what are the Brotherhood doing here? Or we could say, Dorsey thought I might be able to help out. Um, I mean, just out of curiosity, what would it mean to join the Brotherhood? If we accept you as an initiate, and that is far from certain, you would be pledging yourself to our order and our cause. Our order exists to locate, secure, and protect dangerous technologies. Humanity cannot be trusted with the means to destroy itself. We will not allow another apocalypse. I see. What are the Brotherhood doing here? The specifics of our mission are not for discussion with civilians. We're here under orders from Elder Maxon. Stay out of our way, and we won't have any problems. Okay. Are you recruiting new initiates? That is within the scope of Paladin Romani's directives. It takes more than just asking, of course. You would have to prove yourself. If you are sincere about wishing to join our ranks, you would have to earn the approval of the officers here, including me. Is that why you're here? Another hopeful dreaming of service to the Brotherhood. Hmm. Um, wow. Okay. I need to think about this. I had some other questions. If you're an example of the Brotherhood, maybe not. What would it mean to join? Maybe we could lie and say, oh, sure, I definitely want in. We could say, I want to join the Brotherhood. Or we could use our considerable charisma and say, I can think of no greater honor than to join your noble Brotherhood. Um, I mean, what would it mean to join? If we accept you as an initiate, and okay, that you're just going to say this certain, again. You would be pledging yourself to our order, and our order exists. We will not. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I need to think about this. I had some other questions. Make it quick. So Dorsey thought I'm not going to ask him this. Let's not get him angry with us. Uh, Dorsey thought I might be able to help out. Hmm. Initiate Dorsey is too trusting, but I can't fault his commitment. Perhaps he sees something in you worth our interest. Are you another aspirant to our order? Man, he's getting right to it, isn't he? I mean, 
maybe? This isn't a casual decision, civilian. Becoming one of us is committing yourself and your life to a cause. Be certain. Otherwise, you're wasting both your time and mine. Hmm. Um... Uh... Whew. Can I just leave? Yeah. So, wrapped up in metal. civilians are supposed to wait to be seen. What is my goal here? Um, yeah, I have to speak with him if I want to meet with other leaders of the Brotherhood. I mean, kind of dumb. do I have to join the Brotherhood? I am not a receptionist, civilian. I have actual work to do. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, let's 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 get to get to it here. You seem pretty tightly wound. Do you ever unclench? I am not known by my initiates for tolerating foolishness, outsider. Persist in that tone, and you will learn how much less I tolerate from civilians. Ooh, scary. Uh, anyway, um, uh, 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 are you recruiting new initiates? That is with him. If you are, is that why you're? Okay. Um. I guess I I guess I want to join, I guess. Uh, sure, I can think of no greater honor than to join your noble brotherhood. We, brotherhood, we may as well use our charisma. If you mean that, then you are right. <laughs> but if that's sarcasm, I recommend you stow it immediately. Normally, I might stick you with the other hopefuls until we decide whether you're worthy. But if you're serious about joining us, you've got good timing. There's something you could do for me that would help the order and demonstrate your qualities as a candidate. We've had a number of civilians show up here at Fort Atlas asking for one thing or another from the Brotherhood. People are afraid or want something or are looking to involve us in local squabbles. Civilian outreach is not my specialty. There's too much left to do to secure this facility. If you're really interested in helping, save my time. Interview the petitioners. Find out what they want and report back to me. Okay. Um, what's in it for me? To be in the Brotherhood is an honor and a life of service. If that's truly something you want, start here. Perform this duty well, and we can talk about your future. Okay. Is there another member of the Brotherhood I could speak to? No. <laughs> the chain that binds dictates a strict hierarchy of command. And, as the only knight present, the initiates are directly under me. Unless I say so, your contact with the Brotherhood stops here. Okay. Uh, well then, I can do that. Do this right. Don't make me regret giving you the opportunity. Conduct yourself properly, and we can consider putting you forward as an initiate candidate. There's a gun that shoots those? I want it. Okay, we spoke to Knight Shin, now we need to this speak to four office, petitioners. Not a social club. If you're not finished, get back to work. All this concrete... So, um, old Knight Shin wants to test my ability to take orders and has given me the task of finding out what the civilian petitioners at the fort want from the Brotherhood and reporting this back to him. I can find the petitioners in the civilian accessible areas of Fort Atlas. Get to it. Dude. So I'm going to guess that this is one of them. Yep, sure enough, right here. What's up, Sean Hawkman? Talk to me. You better have something useful to say to me. What? Uh, I'm not actually part of the Brotherhood. Don't take this out on me. Or, whoa, who are you? I don't even know you. What did I do? Um, I mean, uh, gosh, um, do we want to let him know we're not a member of the Brotherhood? Um, I don't know. Don't, don't take it out on me, dude. I'm not a part of the Brotherhood. What? Oh, hey, sorry about that. You're right. Ain't, ain't right me blowing up on you like that. I'm just really wound up, and none of these brotherhood types are giving me the time of day. So who are you? I don't even know you, and what did I do? I just told you who I am. I already told them that when I got here. Mm. Nobody's listening in this place. I came here so that they can make things right, and they won't even listen to me. All right. Well, Knight Shin asked me to talk to you. Oh, can't even come to me himself? What, he needs to requisition some more armor polish? All right. All right. I'll keep I it cool, get back Sean. To the farm soon. So, what's he got to say to me? Um, tell me what the problem is. Tell me more about yourself. I don't know. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Sean. I'm a scavenger, mainly. 
always been pretty good with a set of tools, so I do all right for myself scrapping and fixing things. I trade what I find or fix with the folks at Foundation when I need something I can't get otherwise. Mostly, I like to be left alone. To be expected in a place that lacked brotherhood and oversight. Well, tell me what the problem is. The problem this is that a couple of these brotherhood clowns showed up and took a bunch of my stuff at gunpoint. Now, I'm a peaceful man. I really am. I sure wasn't equipped to deal with armed thugs requisitioning the little I've managed to put together for myself. Never understood the Raiders. I like the quiet life. I don't need much, and I need trouble less. But after this, I get it. I came here to give the Brotherhood a chance to make things right. Else, maybe, I'd go to Crater and start doing things their way. At least they don't pretend to be the good guys. Okay. Uh, well, we could just simply say, I'll tell you, or I'll tell them what you told me, Sean, I promise goodbye. Or we could say, I'll let Shite Night Shin know everything. First, though, I had more questions. Do I have more questions? All right. What else did you want? Um, are you sure they were Brotherhood? Don't blow me off like I'm making this up. These people have a responsibility to fix this. They had the power armor, and they said they were Brotherhood. Sorry I didn't make sure to ask proof when they had me at gunpoint. Local recruits of your help. All right, geez, calm down. Would you really become a raider because of this? Listen, I don't have much. But what's mine is mine. And these people took that from me. The Brotherhood pretends like they're noble, but then they let this happen? In their name? Raiders don't act like something they're not. And at least the gangs defend their own. Okay. Um, I guess I'm done here? Then tell them, and get them to do something about it. If I don't sleep tonight, I should be able to get this list done. Boy, he's quite the complainer, isn't he? Old Night Shin. So we talked to one person. Let's, uh, let's go talk to the other ones. I think they're downstairs. Here's one. Ain't no kind of life wrapped up in metal. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm thirsty. That happened fast. Let's go ahead and drink something. Let's drink ourselves um, some good old purified water. Yeah, let's eat a Salisbury steak. Nah, let's eat... Um, I don't want to eat Salisbury steak. We'll get some rads. Um, I'm getting spoiled meat, spoiled vegetables. Is a step forward. Where was that? Oh, wolf ribs. There we go. Well, oh well. We're gonna get ribs anyway, or uh, rads anyway. I want it. Well, now look at you. You yeah. with these steel brother fellas? I've been waiting a good spell to talk to them. I don't sleep tonight. Uh, let's see. We could say sort of. Night Shin asked me to speak with you. We could say, what is it you do? You've been waiting long, or I don't have time for this. Um, you've been waiting a long time. A long time. Longer than I prefer. These steel types ain't half disorganized right now, it looks like. Heard the news about these fellas and reckon I'd better go see him. Ain't the only one neither, I see. Okay. What is it you do, sir? Farming such as it is. Got a patch ain't barely more than skull. But it's mine. And I manage. Okay. Um... So anyway, I mean, I'm sort of in the Brotherhood. Knight Shin asked me to speak with you. Well, it's about time. I'd like to die of old age waiting on him. Name's Art Knapp. So, what's this Knight fella sent you for? Um, well, I mean, I was asked to find out what you wanted from the Brotherhood. A fair trade's what I want. I've heard stories about these steel types back in the day. <laughs> they was going around taking things from folks. For the cause, they said. Yeah, Disorder like that don't make them raid us too. Like well, I ain't got much, and I already got to worry about raiders. So, I reckon it's better to make a deal up front. My farm don't produce much, but I got some extra. I expect they'll have a use for it. In return, I want these steal boys and girls to keep raiders away from my farm 
heard a lot of noise they was on our side. So, seems fair. No meat approved. Perfect okay. Uh, I'll bring them in your offer. Or take care. Or I'll pass your offer tonight, Shin, but first I had some other questions. Yeah, let's ask some more questions. I'm not going anywhere just yet. Shoot. Well, tell me a little bit about yourself. Ain't much to tell. Been a farmer one way or another all my life. My daddy before me and so on. Set up in these parts after I heard it was safe again. Turned out there's plenty of raiders fixing to take what ain't nailed down. Ain't much use belly aching about it. But neither am I just gonna roll over and let some bullies take what's mine. Okay. Isn't your farm in danger with you away? Got seed in the ground right now. I ain't yet seen a raider willing to scrabble in the soil for seeds, so I reckon it'll get by till I'm back. Reminds to okay. Wouldn't turning over your crops be just as bad as them being taken? Before they bombed the daylights out of everything, folks used to pay taxes in exchange for the government doing what it was supposed to do. Raiders will just take everything. This is a trade. Fair is fair, and a deal's a deal. I ain't care for people poking their noses into my business, but if a bushel or two to these brotherhood keeps the raiders away, I can live with it. Okay. Well. See you around, Art. Could be. Could be, he says. Okay, we got two more to talk to. Something I can do for you. No, no, no you're good. Uh, or, here is Tally La Lang. Or, hey, yeah, you. Who do I need to talk to around here? You know, about the guns. Oh, okay. I don't look like one of these brotherhood yahoos. Name's Tally Lang. What's your deal? Well, Night Shin sent me to speak to you. Will I get a chance to ask these questions if I if I go here first? Let's see. Shin? He the scary guy with the stick up his butt? All right, shoot. Um, so, uh, you're not a raider, are you? What? Me? A raider? No, 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 no. A little old me? Don't be silly. I think she's a raider. So, then what's your story, Tally? Oh, um just a poor country girl, you know? Parents died ages ago, so it's just me and a few friends trying to make our way in the world. It's pretty scary out there. Just a bunch of orphans helping each other out. We're practically just kids. Had to grow up on our own. We'd sure feel a lot safer with some of those high-tech guns these Brotherhood have to scare off all the maniacs out there. Okay, so I take it it's guns that you're after? Yeah, that's right. Big shiny guns. Now all the talk in the area is about these Brotherhood folks with their high-tech toys, and I thought, Tally, you gotta get some of that. For self-defense, of course. Uh, just so me and, and some of my poor, innocent friends can protect ourselves from all the nasty folks out there. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I can't promise anything, but I'll tell Night Shin I should go. Hey, I get it. The promises backfire all the time. Well, go get him, Tiger. Okay, so she wants guns. I don't think I'm going to give her guns. And then there's one more person who is over here. Is it this doctor it guy? If you would. Yeah. You have time for me what now, Dr. Good? Blackburn? wonder if this will be enough to Yes. Speak. Something I can help you with? I am waiting to speak with a Brotherhood representative. I have no interest in small talk with strangers. Um, well, actually, Knight Shin asked me to speak with you. The severe gentleman in the power armor, yes. Dr. Edgar Blackburn at your service. And what did Knight Shin want to know? Well, I mean, he asked me to find out what you wanted from the Brotherhood. I had heard that the Brotherhood possessed advanced technology. As a doctor and a scientist, this was of great interest. My research is always in need of equipment and materials rather difficult to obtain by scavenging and bartering. I came to see if an arrangement could be made, but from what I can see of their operations, they are as yet still in too much disarray. 
Given the state of my fellow supplicants, I would hypothesize that their needs likely outweigh my own. I see. Um, I'll mention that in my report, but I had some other questions. Very well. What did you wish to know? Well, um, why don't you tell me a little bit more about yourself? I am sure you have more interesting things to do than listen to a poorly socialized wasteland doctor talk about himself. In short, I trained in multiple specialties before the war and had a brief career as a research scientist prior to the bombs dropping. Finding myself fortunate enough to survive, I have continued my research, such as it is. Now I focus on the health of the people of Appalachia. Please do not ask me to examine any strange growths. I am not that kind of doctor. Okay. Can you tell me about your research? It would be difficult to express it in layman's terms. No offense intended. In essence, I have been studying the illnesses of Appalachia. For too long, people have relied on folk remedies and makeshift medicines. The long-term effects of this environment are concerning. Just because the radiation is survivable does not mean it is safe. Lord, 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 Lord. Are you working with Foundation? Their hygiene standards are better than a lot at Crater, but no, I prefer to work in solitude. One day, perhaps, my research will be of benefit to them and all the other people of Appalachia. Okay, why do you talk like a criminal? Uh, that's all I need for now. Very well, then. Perhaps we can be of assistance to one another, should our paths cross again. Perhaps. So you mentioned Foundation and Crater. I don't remember that. I mean, I kind of remember Crater. For some reason, I feel like it was up here on this part of the map, but I'm not seeing anything. I mean, I'm, I'm actually looking for a Crater. Um, but, um... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing one, so I don't remember what Crater is, I don't remember what Foundation is, but from talking to Tally, it sounds like Crater is a, um, like a raider camp. Foundation. I kind of maybe remember visiting, uh, like a type of camp, uh, but I don't remember who it was run by or what their purpose was. Or where it was. Um, but I kind of vaguely remember something. Yeah, I'm just looking around here to see if I see a crater on the map, and I don't, so. I'm not sure. But anyway, I don't think it's important right now. So, we talked to all four people. We need to go back to Night Shin. I've spoke to all the petitioners and am ready to give my report. I should return to Night Shin in the security office and let him know. So, I wonder if we're going to have to choose which one we feel like the Brotherhood should the listen to. Alright, not you. Mr. Shin? Have you finished the task I gave you? Um, I was hoping to ask you some other questions? Complete your duties first, and maybe I'll have time to discuss things with you afterwards. Okay, fine. I spoke with the petitioners. I'm ready to report. Good. Let's get this done. I have the list from their arrival. Give me the high-level overview. So, um... <laughs> does it really matter? You couldn't even be bothered to talk to these people. Uh, I mean, we'll just start here at the bottom in the order in which I talk to people. Uh, Sean Hawkman was robbed by people claiming to be Brotherhood. Impossible. Whatever happened, it was not us. Okay. What matters is he believes it. You should help him out. Or don't you want to find the people who did it? Or if you didn't do it, it's not your problem. I mean, don't you want to know who's running around the wasteland posing as Brotherhood people? There are countless brigands out there, civilian. It is not the job of the Brotherhood to hunt them down one by one for their crimes. I will say it bothers me to hear that someone is abusing the honor of the Brotherhood this way. But that does not change the facts. Mr. Hawkman's problems are his own, not ours. Yeah, but... Give me your next report. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's the end of that. Gee whiz. Oh, I guess I played that wrong. Well, uh, this Tally Lang person wants to buy guns from you. No. We are not arms dealers. 
Uh, she and her friends could really use the protection, or you shouldn't. She seemed pretty squirrely to me. Or I think she might actually be a raider. Yeah, dude, I, I think she might actually be a raider. There was never any circumstance in which I would authorize weapons to that woman. But your vigilance is noted. Moving on. Well, Art Knapp wants to trade a share of his crops for protection from raiders. We are not mercenaries here to serve as guards for anyone with some goods to trade in payment. Hmm. It sounds like a fair deal to me, or shouldn't you help him regardless, or the raiders are his problem, I wouldn't get involved. I mean, I don't know, it sounds like a pretty fair deal to me. That's irrelevant. <laughs> the Brotherhood cannot simply be hired out to every farmer and homesteader. We have our own concerns. Enough about that. <laughs> What's next? I don't feel like this is going very well. Uh, anyway, Dr. Blackburn was looking for supplies for his research. The Brotherhood is not a charity. And our mission does not cover providing civilians with equipment to pursue their personal interests unless the doctor intends to provide that research to the Brotherhood exclusively. And under our supervision, he will get nothing. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, he actually said other people seem to need you more. Or frankly, he was light on the details anyway. Or it could be good for everyone if you helped him. Um, I mean, he did say this. He actually said other people seem to need you more. That shows commendable discipline. Scribe Valdez may have interest if he returns, but if so, he is her problem. That appears to resolve the matter on our end. Hmm. That finishes your reports. Against my initial judgment, you have shown that you can take orders and make yourself useful for the Brotherhood. You need to lose those soft civilian instincts, but I will make note of your assistance in my report to Paladin Romani. Should you wish to join our ranks, I will not oppose your enlistment and grant you permission, provisionally, to enter the compound proper. Go to our scribe Valdez. You will need her support as well if you want Paladin Romani's attention. Well, that was pretty easy. Uh, another order, or I don't suppose you have time for questions now, or are you really not going to help any of them, or thanks I'll do that. I mean, are you really not going to help any of them? What I am going to do is make the recommendations I see fit in my report to Paladin Romani. As the commanding officer, the final decisions will be hers. And your concern in the matter ends here. Okay. Um, do you have time for questions now? Let me complete my report. If I do not have other pressing duties, then I will consent to your questions. Mm, that sounds like a blow-off. Um, another order? Orders and duty are the lifeblood of the Brotherhood. You are not yet one of us. Consider it a suggestion. Fair enough. Thanks, I'll do that. Be vigilant, outsider. Okay, well, we reported back to Night Shin. I oh. am not a receptionist, civilian. Okay, yeah. I have actual work to do. Uh, you're the one who's talking to me, this dude. Be enough to see Activate the scanner, it says. Night Shin wasn't interested in my opinions regarding the petitioners, but he was grateful for my assistance. He has approved me as an initiate, initiate candidate and granted me access to the rest of Fort Atlas. Now I need to head through security and find Scrime Valdez. Let's do it. Can we go back and talk to these people? Well, I hope you convinced the Brotherhood to make good. Well, I suggested he might want to catch whomever's been impersonating Brotherhood, or I shouldn't really talk about that, Sean, or never mind. Well, I mean, I did suggest that he might want to catch whomever's been impersonating Brotherhood. Impersonating, huh? Hmm. I suppose they'd be pretty mad about people making them look like just another bunch of thugs. It's not as good as getting my stuff back. But thinking about what the Brotherhood might do to someone they catch running that con? It'll do. You did all right. Hmm. Thanks. Each day in service of the brother. I'm sorry I blew up on you before. Hmm. Okay. Did not I'm expect it to go to that way. I spent too much time here as is. You watch your back out there. And with these guys. Okay, Sean. Anything else to say? We're all good now. I'll see you around. All right, man. All this concrete. I wonder if we will find him out there on his farm somewhere, or if he just disappears. Never to be seen again. Uh, Art. I back again. Huh? Yeah, I'm back. You talk to that military fella upstairs. 
Well, I did. Um, I told Night Shin the Brotherhood should make the deal, or that's between Night Shin and I, or I don't really have time to talk. I mean, I did tell him he should make the deal. Now that's mighty right of you. Whether they do or not is on them, but look over you got my thanks for your part in it. Well, I'll be moving along back to the farm soon. Stay out of trouble, you hear? Okay, I'll stay out of trouble. And then, uh, Tally, you're not getting your guns. I should hey, be getting that's my something for trouble. little old me? Get at it if you got What's the word from the Big Bad Brotherhood, huh? You butter them up for me and my friends? Lots of pew 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 for Tally, lasers, and plasma and all that? <laughs> uh, let's see here. I could say what and spoil the surprise, or I have to go... Uh, we could say, honestly, I still think you're a raider, Tally, and I told the knight as much. Um, let's, let's not do that. Let's just go with this. What? And spoil the surprise? Uh, yes, duh. Ugh, never mind. I like them to force it out of you with all these tin soldiers clanking around. Seems like you don't entirely suck, unlike these dopes. <laughs> nice change of pace. Stay frosty out there. Okay, well, I guess that worked. And let's go to the talk to something? the doctor now. Yes. Did you need something else? Well, I mentioned tonight, Shin, that you wanted them to look after the others first. I was hoping to ask more about your research or nothing right now. I mean, could I ask more about your research? Your enthusiasm is refreshing. I could discourse on the subject for hours, if allowed. No Regretfully, I am preparing to return to my lab and do not have the time. Perhaps if we meet again in more congenial circumstances. Okay. Well, anyway, I, I mentioned to Night Shin that you wanted them to look after the others first. Thank you for honoring my request. I can certainly continue my work alone for the time being. Let the Brotherhood look to the present, and I will tell the future. This place goes sour and I will be leaving shortly. Take care. Words. The Wasteland holds many dangers. Keep your wits. And your health about it. Farewell. Okay, farewell. Alright, let's uh let's activate the scanner now. We go into the the fort. Okay, quest completed. New quest, mother of invention, speak to scribe Valdez. This is a secure area. Treat it as such. Okay, don't really know what that means. Raiders causing trouble again. We'll have to do something about them. Cool. That's pretty neat. Alright, so now our quest is Mother of Invention. I've earned the, the grudging acceptance of the Brotherhood of Steel's Knight Shin. If I keep helping out, I should be able to work my way into the ranks of the Brotherhood. Shin said I should go speak to Scribe Valdez if I'm looking to do so. And then I saw that we received a plan for something... I don't know if it's considered a miscellaneous or what. New recruits, Night Shin's training, weapons, it's a note maybe. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Let's scroll down here to the P's, see if there's a plan down here. Plan, Brotherhood Roundtable. Crafting item unlocked, Brotherhood of Steel Roundtable. Okay. I mean, I guess we may as well uh, unlock these ultra-sight rusty knuckles while we're here, too. Okay. When do I get to go out and prove my worth? This is pretty cool. Too bad this observatory's so busted up. I'd love to look at the stars. Hmm. Let's go talk to Scribe Valdez. Just leave the door wide open. What's up? If you're here to join up, you need to go through the proper channels. Hello, civilian. I don't mean to be rude, but what exactly are you doing up here? Uh, I want to join up. Knight Shin said you may need some help. Or, I helped out that Shin guy. He said to talk to you about getting in on this brotherhood action. Okay, let's not put it that way. I want to join up. Knight Shin said you may need some help. Oh, a prospective initiate. The Knight Shin sent you. And I guess we're we both in luck. Paladin Romani makes the call on new recruits, but the Knight and I have some influence. It just so happens I'm in need of someone to help me out on a little mission. If you're interested, I can bring you along and put you to work. Do a good job, and I'll send a recommendation your way. How about it? 
Do I have a second head on my right shoulder? Why is everybody looking over my right shoulder when they talk to me? We could say, deal. We could say, you'd better not go back on your word if I decide to help you out. Or what is this mission exactly? Yeah, I want to know what this mission is. Our new base is littered with old technology. But there's something in particular I want to investigate. It's down in the bowels of this place, a, a part of Atlas that we've cornered off. I'm not keen on going alone, so I'd like some backup. Fair enough. All right, you got a deal. Glad we can come to an agreement. Any questions before we start? Mm, um, I mean, I have some questions, I guess. All right, fire away. Um, is this kind of thing normal for a scribe? Ideally, yes, actually. In practice, not at all. We're supposed to be the lore keepers, preserving old technology for the betterment of today. Instead, I spend all my time soldering wires on busted comms equipment or tightening screws on tracking scanners. This investigation will be a breath of fresh air. It's what being a scribe should be about. Okay. Uh, you don't sound thrilled with your role or you don't like repairing things all day? I thought everyone did. Um, I mean, you really don't sound very thrilled with your role. Can I do it? Yes. But it's not my life's calling. Believe it or not, I didn't choose to be a scribe. I was born into it. My parents chose this life for me. I've gotten used to it, but it isn't mine. I... <laughs> Night Shin would throw a fit if he heard just how unprofessional I was now. Um, we should get back to business. Sorry. Business only. Okay. Um, why not just bring one of the initi initiates instead of me? Normally I would, but today you came along. We have a lot of capable initiates, but we could always use more. Handle yourself well, and I'll be happy to vouch for you. Okay. Can I get a look at those logs you were talking about? Not as a civilian. However, if Paladin Romani lets you join our ranks, then I might reconsider. Especially if you're a big help on this mission. Okay, let's get back to discussing the mission then. Sure. Ready to go? Uh, I guess. I guess I'm ready to go. Great. Unfortunately, I need to finish up a few things here. Head downstairs and I'll meet you in a bit. Okay. Cool. Uh, can we interact with her again? know how to spot weld. Let's talk. Maybe we'll both learn something. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, I... Let's talk about you. About me? What do you want to know? Well, where are you from? California. Though, truth be told, I've spent most of my life in one bunker or another. <laughs> my parents joined the Brotherhood when I was very young, so I grew up in the Order. Oh, wow. I also grew up in a bunker. Well, a vault, or sounds lonely, or you're lucky the waste plate. The wasteland is no place to grow up. I mean, I also grew up in a bunker, kind of, you know, it's a vault. Really? How rare. You'll have to let me interview you sometime. I'd love to know more about the vaults. Uh, sure. I have a lot to take care of while we get settled in here, but I'll get back to you on this. Don't worry. Okay. Do you like being a scribe? I do. Scribes are critical to the Brotherhood's mission. Go it's a mission I believe in. Let us take care of things here. The work that comes my Find way can get tedious or overwhelming, but knowing I'm helping the greater good keeps me satisfied. What do you think of Appalachia? Appalachia? Well, it suits our needs well. It has its dangers, but it's in better shape than a lot of America. That means there's a lot of old tech lying around and in good enough condition for conservation. What do you think of the Brotherhood? We're a strong organization with a noble goal. Our methods draw some flack sometimes, but we're doing the right thing. All right, let's talk about something else. Of course. What's the next topic? Mm, I'd like to ask about being a scribe. Sure. What needs explaining? Well, what does a scribe do? We're the heart of the Brotherhood's mission to find, catalog, and preserve pre-war technology. 
Though sometimes in practice... Well, let's just say I spend a lot of time calibrating things. Why are you called scribes? We record things. Histories, schematics, every bit of knowledge we can get our hands on. We collect it all, compile it, and keep it safe. Like old scholars or monks. Our name harkens back to that ancient tradition. So, that's why we use it. Can I become a scribe? Well, first you'll have to join up, and we don't just take anyone. Then it depends on your aptitude. Not everyone has the mind or patience for scribe work. But, ultimately, if you're driven and competent, I don't see why not. Let's talk about something else. Sure. What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about the Brotherhood. Lucky for you. I know all about us. Uh, what is the Brotherhood of Steel? We're an order dedicated to the preservation of science and technology. We find and catalog knowledge from before the bombs and keep it safe. Um, so you mean... <laughs> you mean keep it for yourselves, you hoard it. That's one interpretation. Certainly one I've heard before. But my journey here has only reinforced my faith in our mission. We're dedicated and organized. I trust us to do the right thing with the knowledge we gather. Where did your group come from? California, all the way across the continent. I read that people used to fly that distance in a few hours, but the trek took us months. Maybe eventually we'll get flying again, but for now it's an arduous journey. Why did you come to Appalachia? We're here to help the people of Appalachia, and to catalog any technological discoveries we find. We set up Fort Atlas to that end. This old observatory has a wealth of technology to discover, and is a good staging point for future operations. We also want to learn the fate of the old Appalachian chapter of our order. MIA. Presumed KIA. Uh, let's see. I learned what happened. The Scorch got them in the end, or, oh yeah, they all got themselves killed. Well, I mean, yeah, the Scorched got them. Yeah. To be honest, that's what I expected to hear. At least they died trying to make a difference. May they rest in peace. I uh, knew some of them from a distance, but uh, it's better if we don't get into that now. So who, who leads the Brotherhood? The Council of Elders, chief among them. High Elder Maxon, our founder. He proclaimed our mission and set us on the path we follow today. Our expedition leader is Paladin Romani. She's an aggressive and daring commander who's taken us through many trials. Uh, I have other questions. Okay, what do you want to know? Actually, it's not a question, but I do have some technical data to give to you guys. You mean to tell me these documents were just lying about in the wilds of Appalachia? <laughs> if you find any more data like this, the Brotherhood can use it. Or at the very least, keep it safely filed away. There's another secure cache at Camp Venture you can use if you're on that side of the neighborhood. Otherwise, I will happily take this off your hands. Okay, quest completed for and not forbidden around, knowledge. At least grab a wrench and help me out. Huh. Wow, we had 155 technical datas. <laughs> we get Everything some ammo and sense. some rataways. This is my place. And some experience. My mission. Wow. So yeah, that quest was called Forbidden Knowledge. Watch your step, it's a mess up here. And uh I don't even see it here in the list. A quest called Forbidden Knowledge. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder why I don't. Hm. Well, it doesn't matter. There's not any text for it anyway. Doesn't really matter. Uh oh here it is, Forbidden Knowledge. It was a side quest. So yeah, we probably got this quest a long time ago. She mentioned Camp Venture. Another place where we could pick up stuff, but um, I don't um, I don't see any mention don't of it here. Mind this clutter. Wow, that I wonder why this thing's much. asked me to place my own camp. I are obviously already have a camp. Kill a Wendigo while wearing a clown costume. You know, I thought I did that. I feel like I did. And then open the miner's locker in Lucky Hole Mine. I remember this old quest too. Shouldn't you be waiting in the entryway? 
What in the world is this? Are these times? What are what is this? They look like times. Why are all these times listed here? Weird. Anyway. Staying safe out there. Yeah. Um so our quest here, Mother of Invention, our main quest. Scribe Valdez sure wants me to meet her in the substructure of the Brotherhood's base in Fort Atlas to help her investigate some old technology. She said I could go on ahead and she'll meet me there. Well, um, there's quite a bit of exploring we could do in here as well. In fact, there's a, uh, a terminal right here. Ooh, <laughs> Scribe Valdez's terminal requires skill three. Our skill is zero. So apparently I never bothered to uh, put any points into hacking. <laughs> Oh, Another Atlas scribe. Research Log, Atlas Research Log. Uh, we could play this. Atlas Project Research Log 104. Lieutenant Marks and I have begun calibrating the ion beam accelerator. We've hit a plateau at the 300 MeV threshold. Oh, micro variations in the magnetic flux are disrupting the Betatron induction loop. <laughs> the Lieutenant is working on a firmware update for the coil controller. She said she'll have the wobble out by Monday. Assembly of the main device remains on schedule. The Air Force is nothing if not punctual. Colonel Oberlin is still pressing for the facility to be fully operational before the end of the year. Well, as much as I want to see my research in action, we need to proceed carefully. If this goes wrong, the results could be catastrophic. Atlas has the potential to change the world. Or destroy it. Hmm. I heard another Somebody sound effect while he was playing that makes future. it sound like I'm thirsty we again. Understand the past as well, or we'll make the same mistakes going forward into the future. Drink a little bit more water here. Past as well, or make the same mistakes going forward. We come all the way from California. Here I am fixing broken things. These people are so chatty. Uh, Atlas Research Log number 293. Let's play it. Atlas Project Research Log 292. It's been five months. Five months since that day. They abandoned me. The military never believed in Atlas. It was just another weapon. When the nukes fell, well, what did it matter? Atlas, this research. It's been my life's work. We need Atlas. The world needs Atlas. Now more than ever. I have to finish it. Everything I need, it's, it's all here. I just need time. And hands. I've activated all the robots. There are security bots. They were, they were programmed for this, but it's all I've got. I can make it work. I've replaced the main lens, finished the particle analysis. I think the accelerator is finally stable. I'm so tired. But I have to keep going. Just a little more. It's almost done. Hmm. Ultrasite country. Who knows what strange contraptions the old mining firms built here. Well, we're going to end this episode here. Uh, I'm hoping that I won't have to redo everything I just did. Um, I'm trying to remember how this game works. Because I know that, like, now that we've entered the inside of this place, it's kind of like its own bubble. And I don't know if... I exit the game. I mean, I, I do know that when I exit the game and reload it, I'll be outside of Fort Atlas. But I don't know if my uh, quest progress will be saved. I hope it. I hope it is, because if not, this is going to get annoying. Um, but we'll find out. We'll find out. But like I said, that's where this episode ends. Thank you guys so much for joining me again. In my continuation of Fallout 76, there is a lot more to see. I've been told, so stick around. And we'll explore it all together. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know? Let me like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode.